God, good morning, you guys. I am back on YouTube. It has been a hot minute since I've uploaded any like nurse practitioner related content. And that is, hopefully you follow me on like social media because you would know this. But if you don't, I quit my job um, as a GI nurse practitioner. Um, some stuff went down. It just, it didn't work out to say the least, um, and I got a new job. <laughs> and today is my first day of my new job. I am going to be working in a primary care clinic Monday through Friday. Um, the primary care clinic does also does Botox and filler, so I'm hoping eventually down the line that I will get certified to do that and start doing that, which I'm really excited about. Um, but for now, I'm just focusing on the primary care aspect of it. I'm hoping to see a lot of pediatrics and get myself like well-versed in the primary care world, so. I am super excited. I am literally about to turn into my office right now. It's so close to home. It's literally 10 minutes from my house, which is so nice. Um, but yeah, it's 7, 7.52. I need to be there at 8. Um, probably a little bit too much detail, but I also was just on vacation last week. Um, my husband and I took a cruise with my brother and sister-in-law. Um, it was so fun. We had the best time. And I have been back since Thursday, so I had kind of like a long weekend to recuperate and like do my laundry, get my house clean, which was actually so nice. And I need to start doing that for vacations, like not go for the full week. So anyway, we had a great time. The time change really killed me this morning because, you know, technically I was waking up at like seven, but it really felt like six and it was super dark outside. So that was a struggle, but we're here. We're going to have a great day. I'm super excited. I have a little bit first day jitters, but everything's going to be great. And I will update you guys like in a second for you, but in nine hours for me. Several hours later, I went to the gym. Several hours later, you guys, I went to the gym. Um, I did a little push day and then I just came home. I'm making dinner, I'm making tacos for dinner tonight, which is such an easy thing to make if you need like an easy recipe. I mean, you can use regular burger. I use Impossible Burger and I just put a bunch of toppings on. Like I like to fry um, red onions, green peppers, put a little lettuce, a little vegan cheese on it, a little guac salsa, and like that's all you need. It's super easy. Um, so that's what I'm making tonight. I'm loving having the sun up like super late because not super late. It's 727 and the sun's still up, which is really nice. I accidentally fed the dogs two dinners tonight. Um, my husband called me literally right after I fed them and said, hey, I fed the dogs dinner before I headed to the gym. And I was like, you're kidding. I literally just fed them. So they are happy. But. The reason why you guys are all here, first day. First day went so good. I really enjoyed it. This morning I just sat down with a um, practice manager, or practice owner, and he talked me through a bunch of billing stuff because something that I have never done and like did not learn that well in school is billing. Um, I feel like that's a deficit kind of across the board um, as a double provider. I learned like ICD-10 codes, I learned CPT codes, but there's such an aspect to billing that we need to be taught more about. And um, I, a lot you also learn on the job, but he was like, this is probably the most important aspect besides patient care to what you're gonna do. So he like talked me through so much. And then this afternoon, I um, saw some patients with him and just like the patients that we saw this afternoon were just such typical primary care, but I feel like it's like a good learning experience. So I, one of them was just a medication refill for like insomnia, which was super easy. The other one, I'm trying to remember, what was the other one? This was the first one that I saw. Who was the patient? 
Oh, um, weight. We saw them for other reasons, but like weight loss was a big thing of it and then allergy testing. Um, so that was good for me to learn a lot about. We're using a lot of GLP-1 diabetic medications um, for weight loss now and a lot of them are getting covered by insurance. So it was good for me to see that. And then the last patient of the day, literally he was late. So I think at like 4.30, I walk in, see him, start talking to him, complaining of um, exertional shortness of breath, has uncontrolled hypertension. I took his blood pressure manually. It was in the 200s and <laughs> has like occasional palpitations, but also has like a cellulitis developing on his leg. And I'm like, okay, so first <laughs> we have to do some other things because cellulitis is the least part of my worries right now. Your blood pressure's through the freaking roof. So anyway, that was good for me to see and I knew what to do, so that felt comforting. Um, I don't know if I should share what I do because this is not medical advice whatsoever. You need to do patient specific care. Um, but I personally like gave a clonidine, did an EKG, started some blood pressure medications, rechecking blood pressure in a couple of weeks. And then I did an antibiotic for the cellulitis. So that's what I did. But again, that's not medical advice. Okay, this is the finished product. It's Impossible Burger, vegan cheese, sauteed onions, olives, guacamole, vegan sour cream, lettuce, salsa. I'm like such a condiments person. I have to put every condiment on my tacos. Like I can't just pick a few condiments. It has to be everything. It's all or nothing for me. I am your mother. You listen to me. All right, let's do a taste test. I wish you guys, I don't know if you can see my dog standing right there. Dying for a taste test as well. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That was good. Good morning, you guys. Today's Wednesday. It was an awful vlog yesterday, and I just, like, didn't pick up the camera. It didn't even cross my mind until last night at, like, 9.30. I was like, I'm supposed to be vlogging this week. And I didn't, so I'm sorry. But yesterday was second day of work. I was at um, the second location yesterday, seeing patients all day. It was really good. Um, <clears throat> it was very busy. I didn't end up leaving till 5:30, which I think is going to be a problem. Which I know is like a problem that I didn't face before, which was really nice. But it's going to be a problem now working, like you know, fully doing like my own thing, having my own template, and like keeping myself time managed. But um, anyway. I saw like a bunch of chronic conditions, diabetes, hypertension, and then I mixed, there was like some mental health things in there, bipolar, depression, anxiety, um, bipolar is something that I need to work on, I'm not great with that, um, but depression and anxiety, I'm pretty good with like my SSRIs and my SNRIs, um, and then we also did hormone replacement therapy with pellets, which was super cool to see, I didn't do it, it was, the, we, the philosophy we has is, um, the philosophy that my practice has is um, see it, do it, teach it. So next time I'll probably be doing it, but it's not that hard. And then in the afternoon, same thing, chronic, a lot of chronic conditions. And then um, we did a hip injection, like a joint injection for joint pain, which was also very cool because I've never done that. I was not taught how to do that. I did take a primary care procedures class, but for some reason we didn't do joint injections in that class, which is kind of weird because it's very like primary care can definitely do that. So obviously I'm doing it. So anyway, it's Wednesday morning. I am getting ready to go. I have to wear my glasses today because I think I'm so tired that my eyes have felt a bit strained with my contacts the last two days. So it's a glasses day. I have like a couple minutes I'm gonna just sit outside for a second and do my devotional and my journal I didn't have time to do that yesterday so I need to do that this morning but happy Wednesday let's have a good day all right guys I had Chipotle for dinner tonight Seth's school was having um like a formal not a formal I don't know why I said that they were having a fundraiser and if you went to Chipotle and like mentioned them they'll get money i don't know so we went to chipotle ate it it's like i went to the gym actually today during lunch i get technically like a two hour lunch break one hour is um my actual lunch break and then an hour for charting so i have plenty of time my gym's literally 10 minutes away so i just shot to the gym which was so nice i'm gonna start doing that like every time that i can because i love like being able to come home and 
not have to go to the gym so that was lovely um i just need to like make my smoothie and stuff for tomorrow so i actually thought that i would show you guys my smoothie recipe that i'm currently using it's super simple it's super easy but it's what i eat every morning okay so my go-to smoothie recipe is almond milk protein powder i personally really like orgain's protein powder um the vanilla and the chocolate protein and they have a like they have a bunch of flavors but they also have a non-flavored one that i actually really like too but my husband doesn't like it so i don't buy it um peanut butter about like a tablespoon of peanut butter berries half of a frozen banana you can use a full if you like but i don't like it to taste too banana-y and then spinach and that's literally it it's so easy but it's like got every nutrient it's got protein it's got fat and it's got carbs so it keeps me pretty full in the morning. It probably keeps me full for like three hours, which is all I need because I probably start drinking it around like nine o'clock. So it works really well for me. And you should try it. exhausted but it's been a good week I just I need a little bit of a rest so I'm going to work I brought my gym clothes so I can hopefully run to the gym during lunch today do a little leg workout and yeah it's gonna be a good day attempt to grab my 800 things and bags lunch gym bag smoothie coffee water sunglasses that fell and my camera you guys we made it we did it guys Friday. I'm ready for the weekend. You guys, yesterday was so much fun in the sense that I did so, I learned so much. <laughs> I feel like that's every day um, at my job. Yeah. The sun's in my face this morning, but I can wear sunglasses, so that is fabulous. I know I've said this a million times, but my job is very close to my house very close to my gym so i have the utmost convenience of running to the gym on my lunch break and it is literally changing my life 
because I used to be so like I have to get so much stuff done after work because I would just run to the gym after work and that I would be there for like at least an hour but the commute would take me at least like 20 minutes to get there and now it doesn't it takes me like 10 minutes I go to the gym during my lunch and then after work if I want to run errands I can run errands I could go grocery shopping I I could do so much I could come home and literally sit on the couch I can hang out with my dogs for longer the sunrise is so beautiful this morning it's let me show you guys if you're just looking at me you're like I want to see the sunrise gorgeous stunning okay you guys several hours later i am literally exhausted i'm so tired <laughs> it has been a week oh. it has been a very good week but today was a very hard day i i just saw like so many patients today and one of my patients this afternoon just has everything in the book like just think of like your typical primary care patient that has like so much stuff going on. Um, and I spent like an, an hour and a half, on, an hour seeing the patient and about half an hour charting on it, on one patient. So then I was behind and it was just, obviously I was behind, it was just a lot. <laughs> um, but I did do a, a um, shoulder injection today for shoulder pain, which was great. Um, I also, what else did I do? Um, hor hormone replacement therapy on a guy, which I've never done it on a guy. I've only done it on a girl before. I didn't do it. I just like, I watched it. Um, I saw, did a telehealth visit. <laughs> I don't even know what I saw today, you guys. It was just so much. Um, but considering it's Friday, considering it's been a week since I have a week, you know, started my new job. I think my husband and I are gonna go out and celebrate at Bar Taco. They, our favorite tacos ever there are the um, fried avocado tacos. And they're like, like they phase in um, certain seasonal tacos. So um, those will be phased out on March 28th and it's March 24th. So I was like, we have to go this weekend if we wanna get them. So I think we're just gonna go there and chill relax i just kind of feel like vibing they have good music it's like a good friday night vibe so we're gonna go there I'm so tired but i'm gonna like get myself together i think i'm actually gonna drink a little bit of this energy drink <gasps> Seth drank it oh no here it is my memory card ran out so i have to delete some footage but I'm having this Alani new peach energy drink. I drank like a fourth of it yesterday. I never had the peach flavor before. It's really good. I'm not an advocate for energy drinks, but I'm tired and I don't feel like making coffee. So I'm gonna have just a little bit of it, like enough for like 50 milligrams of caffeine. Mm. Also you guys, I ordered more scrubs yesterday from Figs. These are my Dolan scrubs. I like pulled them out, but um, I usually like wear them tucked in. They're really cute. I like them a lot, but I they are joggers and I just feel like I'm totally like over my jogger era. Um, like I'm just really into the straight leg um, scrubs right now and the fact that I can wear any scrubs just like makes me so happy. So I ordered, I oh, stepped out of my comfort zone. I ordered, um, it's not lavender, it's like a magenta. It's like, it's, it's a dark pink and I'm kind of nervous about it. And then I also ordered their new color coral. Um, I think it's called coral. It was really pretty. Um, it's a blue, but it's not like surgical blue. It's kind of like in between, it's like a turquoisey color. So we'll see how that goes. I sized up in the, um, I get, so in, in figs, I get the Livingston at, um, bottoms and then I get the I think it's the Carissa one pocket top. I get a small in the top and then I do usually get a small in the bottoms as well, but I just wanted to feel what a medium would feel like, but I'm think I'm already regretting that I did that because I tried a medium in figs like several years ago and they were so big in the waist and I already have issues like these are tied super tight and these are small because my waist is just smaller than my hips. But with the figs Livingston, I just felt like they were like a little constricting in my hip area and I wanted them to be a little bit looser. So anyway, we'll see how that goes. It'll probably be in, um, be here next week and I'm sure we'll upload a TikTok of it and I'll probably try to put in clips in my 
um, vlog for next week as well. But yeah, we're gonna get ready to go to dinner. Goodest boy. Good morning, you guys. It's Saturday morning. I just woke up. It's like almost 9 o'clock. I'm feeling super sleepy, but my dogs would not let me sleep any longer. They absolutely needed me to be up and out there outside and like pawing at the window. But anyway, um, I just got a little PR sent to me from Kegels that I just opened that I wanted to show you guys. Um, getting PR, I don't get a lot of PR. Um, but when I do get it, I'm like, oh, this is so cool. So, anyway, I thought I would just open it with you guys. This is just like the box that it came in. Ooh. We have a nice cinnamide cream. Hyaluronic acid. Okay, that's good because I haven't been using hyaluronic acid. I kind of wanted to start. Ultra pure high potency glycolic acid. Interesting. A pure serum to step up your smooth. The hyaluronic acid helps your skin bounce back. And the niacinamide keeps your oil in check. I don't have very oily skin, but we'll try and see. And then they sent me their eye cream. I have used this eye cream before. Uh, ultra facial cream and cream cream de corpse <laughs> that's an interesting name <laughs> body lotion cute okay I'm excited to try it's so fun I think one of my favorite PR things that I ever received was from Poppy and it's like a dream of mine to work with Poppy because I'm obsessed with their drinks um, I haven't had a dog pop this week and I'm really going through withdrawals. I just haven't run to Publix and gotten any um, because Target does not sell, or at least the Target's close to me, they only sell the fruit flavors. They don't sell the soda flavors. And I like the dog pop the best. And the cola is pretty good. I've never had the root beer. I should try that, honestly. But I need some for my eyes. I'm so tired. Ugh. I'm making coffee. I kind of I wanted to make uh, an espresso this morning, but I'm out of pods, and I did order some, but they haven't come in yet. So we just have to settle with regular coffee. And then I kind of just want to like chill, which is hard to do with my dogs, honestly. Like right first thing in the morning when they wake up, they're like wanting to play and they need walks and they are very active dogs so I don't know I kind of just want to chill and then I'm going to Pilates class at 11. We were kind of thinking about going to the beach today because it's just so it's going to be such a beautiful day. Um, I don't know if we will get over there. We'll see. Seth's been accusing me of making coffee that's not strong enough. So I made it extra strong this morning. And I told him, when you make the coffee, you can complain about it. Am I right? All right. Anyway, guys, I am going to end off this vlog. Because I need to start uploading the footage and editing it. Um, and getting back into like that editing cycle again. Which, I, to be completely honest, I hate editing YouTube videos. But it's okay because I like filming them. I just don't like editing them. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a really great first week of work, but I am ready to rest, reset, relax for the weekend. So I'm going to unplug and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you so much for watching.
Bye, guys.